Welcome back to one of my art ofs. Today I'm going to be discussing books by um, Sean Michael Keenan and Dinosaurs of the West, the Wild West, and The Pen and Ink Volume 2 by Gareth Davies, who also goes by Spadonkey or Spadonkey? Spud Dunk? Spud Anki? I don't know. Um, these are both artists that I have admired for quite a while on their Instagrams. And then I believe this was a Kickstarter and this one I ordered directly from, although it might have been a Kickstarter. Um, so let's start with Gareth Davies, Spadonkey. This artist, I have admired his thumbnail sketches immensely. He gets such feeling and volume into these tiny little sketches. You should really go check them out, at least on Instagram. So we're looking at a hardcover book, black and white, nothing written on the spine, That's and that's dirt. So again, I love books so much, but there we go. Twitter, whoops, weird. Spadonkey, spadonkey, spadonkey at live.co.uk. It says, with thanks, and it's, well, I guess it's number 100 of 150, or maybe it's number 150 out of 100, so I don't know which one it is. Ooh. But I do love the rocket. I assume it's a rocket. All content is copyright to Gareth Davies. Thank you for purchasing this book. His Tools of the Trade. And this is what I'm talking about right here on this first page. All of these little thumbnail sketches that have such unbelievable character. And they're just, I mean, for the risk of insulting the artist, they're just scribbles. And yet they're not scribbles because I get attitude and thought from each of those. And I, you know how I love about mech. I love some mech. And that's not mech, that's just a car, but well, there's a mech. So this book is black and white, and that's why I've decided to do both of these last two books at the same time. Look at just, they're just such, they're almost caveman drawings, and yet they're wonderful. I wish that I could convey such understanding in so few lines. Love cars. Honk. Honk. I have to guess that Gareth Davies does this daily. Just the constant practice involved in... I mean, there's, think about it. There's no color. There's no gradient. There's no extra help in understanding what these things are. And yet, even with it just being outlined with scribble details, you know that that's a bear. And that's a deer of some kind. And this is volume two. I would have to actually go back now and look and see if I can get a hold of volume one. I actually tried to do some spaceship designs and they looked like guns. Or maybe I tried to do some gun designs and they looked like spaceships, but I totally used Spadonki as, as inspiration for that venture into and I honestly don't remember now if they were spaceships or if they were guns, but whatever they were, they looked like what they weren't. It's just so good. Hmm. <laughs> I'm also enjoying the dark figures next to the scribbly figures, the dark figures next to the scribbly figures. It's a nice way of setting it up. Whew, creepy. But cool! P. 
People never grow up. Some are just better at pretending than others. Nice. Highly recommend all of his, his Instagrams and his everything else. Highly recommend this little book for aspiring ink artists. And I'm going to have to go back and look and see if I can get volume one. Probably can't. It's probably limited release. Sean Michael Keenan, and I hope his middle name is Michael. I'm just saying that from memory. Um, Sean Keenan, regardless. I definitely got this off of Kickstarter, and I was completely blown away by the actual received product. A lot of Kickstarters I just peruse through really quickly to see if they're going to be something I like, and then when they turn out that they are, I immediately back it because I'm a big fan of backing artists, especially ones who go out of their way to make books. Signed, so almost certainly a Kickstarter. Um, highly, highly recommend his Instagram. And I'm not seeing the word Michael anywhere, so I might have made up his middle name. Might have done it. His ability to characterize dinosaurs, and I'm actually going to focus on there. No, we have a shiny. Just a little bit up will be fine. Um, the characterizations he gets between behind dinosaurs, like this picture, and now that it's high up, is the shiny too much? Now that it's higher, no, it's all the same. Okay, so this is brilliant. This is narrative illustration at its very best. What is happening here? Is that really just that in the middle? Okay, sorry, technical difficulties. Um, this is narrative illustration at its best. Wanted poster, some kind of bounty hunter, some kind of small pet, and then the rain's going up into nothingness, and the ability to see the bottom half of what I can only assume and hope to goodness is a Tyrannosaurus Rex, my very favorite of dinosaurs, of course. So, the town of Camera, forgive me for pronunciation if it's incorrect, the buildings are awesome, the dinosaur is awesome. Lily and Bronson being another, bring in another successful bounty. That makes two this week. The gradient dinosaur in the background with the house, the moving house. Narrative illustration, guys. Hardcore respect. The jail. Look at this. Isn't that just so sweet? I mean... Ironically, there's nothing sweet about either character. However, together, doing what they're doing, they're sweet. I think he has another book. Re I don't, I should have looked at him before I went on and did this. I've actually been seeing a lot of stuff on his Instagram recently. <laughs> you imagine writing something on the back of a Diplodocus that would help you as you're Snake oil salesman trade. I mean, they've got those big sales. Why not? Oh, so cool. The ability to work in black and white. The understanding of, look under that arm where it's got the, the rim light with the white. Just brings that whole arm apart from the background of the body. That is skill, my friends. That is skill. I love him. That's all there is to it. I just plain old love him. I like cars. I like dinosaurs. Who doesn't like dinosaurs, though? There's that rim light again. That's that's just a nice, easy use of... And there's nothing easy about it, because you, you can go so wrong so fast with rim light. I mean, this is a massive amount of illustration, and a massive amount of black and white dinosaurs in the Wild West illustrations. He's been at this for years, and you can totally tell. But the best part is, it's not just, there's that red kerchief again. When Lily was a little girl. Okay, so it's the same, same bounty hunter. And wasting time by backtracking, looking for Lily. There. Oh no. I'm going to have to go through this again. I've forgotten. That's cool. Oh. 
That's nice because this draws your eye right away with the darkness and the two light spots with the the interesting shape and the whiteness. And then as you start to really digest the image, you see this dead cowboy here with the arrow sticking out of him. And that's a nice, not just a nice illustration, but a nice way to draw you in, get you engaged in the image, and then co and continue telling the story with one image. The dinosaurs are just so cool. The juxtaposition of the dinosaurs versus the Wild West. Okay, so this one's got war paint on, and I love him too. Mm. Minimal color, very pretty. Very, very pretty. And the most interesting thing for me about dinosaurs is that, yes, we have information on them. Uh, in what we've been able to dig up with their bones and such, but we don't have actual photographs of dinosaurs. We just have ways we can work from lizards of nowadays and birds, chickens. One might say ducks, although I have ducks and there's nothing dinosaur about them really. Oh, hunting criminals is exhausting. Very nice. <laughs> Town of Three Horn. I'm hoping you guys can see enough of this through that glare. That's just, he's really good at these panoramics, and it's really no wonder why he chose to make his book long and thin like this. Um, I'll throw a, I'll throw a ruler on it after I'm done flipping through it, because I forgot to do that. Oh, this is Ankylosaurus getting his teeth checked. That would scare me if there was an Ankylosaurus up that that close. And no, I'm sorry, nope ropes. Can never do snakes. Too many snakes. <laughs> it's a good sign of a drawing that makes you laugh. That's just cool. The dinosaur is eating from the silo. Although I have enough time going out to feed the ducks without having to climb a ladder 12 times my own height. Huh. Does he have a rock tied to his forehead? Or is that his forehead? That's like his last, his down horn trimmed, maybe? Hmm. Huh. Oh. I will admit that it's the di the dinosaurs that drew me in. That's got a very nice gradient. It was the dinosaurs that initially drew drew me in, but the the narration that kept me the the narrative illustrations, the ability to understand what's going on at a simple glance, the catharsis,m the the ability to connect truly and wholly with characters that I wouldn't normally be able to connect with. Ugh. So much detail, so pretty. Mad respect to somebody who can work in monotone too, because I always end up resorting to colors to try to get uh, to try to get understanding in my images. A lot of little sketches, and here we go with the sketches. So the back end of the book is explanation and sketches. Ugh, and he's got that same thing Gareth Davies has, where he can convey unbelievable amounts of information with, like I said, insultingly, scribbles. Mm. Mm. That's an image I said was cute and sweet. That I said both characters were not sweet by themselves, but... Somehow in that juxtaposition, they're both sweet. Must be like inner connection. And then all of the people that donated to the campaign. Which, uh, let's see. Because it's probably not a campaign that I'm a part of. Uh, D. Doot, doot, doot. Right there. Danny Moppin. 
Nice. Do, do, do. Kickstarter. Danny Moppin. Right there. I'm a supporter. Yes, I am. That was weird. Sorry. I'm still not going to cut it out of the video, though. And then here's probably the most interesting part of the book. The Dinosaur Index and where you can find the pictures of all of the dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus Rex is on the most pages. But that seems to be the one that Lily rides. Highly, highly recommend said book. Um, this one is 11 and a quarter inches long, um, 8 and 3 quarters inches, let's say, tall. Hardcover. Get off the thing. Thank you. And then Gareth Davies, Spadunkies, is 8 and just over a half by 5 and, let's say, just over three quarters. Um, very much highly recommend both of these books.